of a vlog I am still learning how to do vlogs I'm trying to get a good angle because I look a mess my skin don't look too bad today so that's a good thing but um yeah I'm trying I'm still learning how to vlog I'm still learning how to like make sure I'm actually picking up my camera when I'm doing things and not just doing things and then be like oh I should have had my camera in my hand or picking up and then explain it to you guys so anyway I'm rambling as you guys saw I dropped my little one to school. I dropped my two oldest ones to school first. Um, and then my little one. And now I just have some things to do around the house. I'm just gonna straighten up a little bit. I also have to start working on her bedroom. So I feel like I might do that today. I'm not sure. I'll put on an old wig today, you guys, cause this is old faithful. She's been with me for years. I wanna say about six years. I got her the first time we went on our family vacation to Jamaica and she's been riding with me ever since so and I got her from Amazon for mad cheap I'll link her down below if I can find it anyway so I do also have to cook today so I guess it's gonna be like a little cook with me clean with me because I'm probably gonna be cleaning some something and also um we have an electrician coming by today uh, I will show you guys real quick what we need done. I'm not sure if I spoke about this before. But so, pretty much, we need the electrician to come by and recess this light right here, this um, outlet, because we have a frame TV coming on Tuesday. Best Buy will be installing it, and they cannot install. I mean, they can install it, but there will be a gap between the wall and the outlet and we don't want that we want the tv to lay flush on the wall like a picture um i'm super excited about that tv you guys my husband actually is upstairs right now hanging up our other one but we could do that one ourselves because that one is going to be easier than this one yeah so the electrician's coming by to help us with this and look at my man tell you guys okay so let me explain what these other things are so Everything is not staying up here. I just place them there um, because we don't have our coffee tables yet. I have ordered them from Haverty's. Well, I haven't ordered. I haven't ordered them yet. I found them from Haverty's and I haven't picked them out yet. Let me turn you guys back around. Anyway, I haven't ordered them from Haverty's yet. I found them recently. I will insert some pictures right there, so you, right here or over here, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I am in love with them. Um, but I don't know why I feel like I have FOMO so I haven't placed the order yet and I need to just go ahead and place the order because I want my coffee tables I need to find a rug for this area let me show you guys the whole living room I don't think I really showed you guys the living room yet show you guys okay so this is okay excuse my tripods and the, if you see the boxes well right there that's the tv box but anyway so this is my living room so far you guys um i have not really done much now the living room set the couch the sofa and the love seat are both from rooms to go i'm not gonna lie i did not want to buy any furniture from rooms to go but our budget was like head to rooms to go and see what they have but i am so in love with these pieces you guys I mean, the quality of these things are amazing. Amazing, like I'm in love. 
so no complaints here um most of our stuff is from rooms to go i will just let you know that right now but yeah this is the sofa i put this white um blanket here so that whenever we want to sit down here we sit on top of the blanket anyway these are the chairs that i've gotten i got these chairs years ago from home goods i'm still in love with them um they will be riding with me for a little bit longer until i find a replacement so right now i like the way they look in here let me just kind of stand back so yeah I, the coffee tables will be ordered soon and i wish it was, wasn't so blurry hold on maybe it's me okay that's better yeah so um yeah this is what it is now i'm i'm still trying to decide if i want to maybe switch that chair and put that um love seat put it over here and put the chairs over there instead i might do that instead i'm not sure but right now this is what it's looking like i do also plan on getting a nice little um, table to go in between there um over here i want to get a um, what was it called? A sofa lamp? A chair lamp? Um, I'll try to insert a picture. I did find it on Amazon. And I got this plant right here, faux plant right here from Target. I'm so in love with you guys. I freaking love that one. Yeah, so that's it for right now. Um, oh, and these are the paintings on the wall. I didn't know if I gave you guys an update on the paintings. And I'm sorry, my daughter left a mess right here. And that's <laughs> my dog's um, bed right there his little downstairs bed he has another one upstairs in my daughter's room but anyway so this is these are the pictures right here i love the way they came out i think they're perfect for this space i'm just trying to decide if i want to get some um picture picture lamps to go above them so yeah i'm just gonna clean up a little bit right now it has been giving us a little bit of a problem but he's been doing so good job he is not the handiest of men but he he has definitely improved with this house our last house it was a struggle but you guys oh and we did get our um blinds that you saw in the montage we did get our blinds from blinds.com and it was it that has that has been let me tell you guys something ordering stuff right now for your house it's not for the faint of hearts, I'm telling you right now, because you need to be ready. Ready for this stuff to just be back ordered and ready to wait. Because ordered our blinds, gave them all the measurements. They, they are motorized. Not all of them are motorized. I chose to just do the living room motorized and then the dining room. We do have the option of adding the motor on at a later time, but I don't think I will because these windows over here, no one's really going to be touching them that much um, also we have uh, oh we do have motorized ones in our bedroom as well the master bedroom has them uh, in our daughter's room and all the windows in the front of the house have shutters we opted to do some shutters because i love the way shutters look in the house especially when you can see them from outside i feel like it just upgrades the, the house a little bit. I do believe it adds value to the house as well. I have to double check on that. But I love the way shutters look. I do have a package coming from Crate and Barrel. I have some that came, but I'll show you guys all of it when, it when everything else gets here. It's not a lot. It's just like three pieces, but I'm super excited about them. What else? I will show you guys the loft area once he's done. Oh, back to blinds.com. So anyway, we gave them our measurements. They started coming in about a, about a month later, I want to say. We started putting them up. Some of them are the wrong length. Some of them are, you know, the wrong width. The shutters were wrong. Some of them were missing. And now it is now, what today is September 1st right now, right? So we called them, I want to say about a week and a half ago to tell them that, hey, you know, this is the problem with some of these. And they told us, Okay, they'll go ahead and reorder it. They're, they're, they don't have a problem with reordering it for you. But then we got an email a couple days ago saying that it's back ordered until October 1st. It is September 1st. So now I have some windows in the front of my house that do not have shutters, which does not look good to me because you can see the shutters from outside, but whatever. We're just rolling with it at this point. Let me show you guys my fridge. This is my fridge. 
Now, there's a backstory to this fridge. And please don't mind the coffee nook area. I will be upgrading that space. Just not right now. But um, this is the coffee nook area. I mean, this is the um, re my refrigerator. This refrigerator was delivered to us three times. <laughs> it's so funny to say. But it was delivered to us three times. And the last time they delivered it, they forgot our handles. Because we ordered um, a handle packet. They said that the handles were never ordered. Um, and this is a this is a cafe cafe appliance fridge, by the way, which is not cheap, right? I just want to say that I feel like first of all, I feel like when you spend your money anywhere, no matter how much, what amount of money that you spend, it needs to be on point. I don't care what these people have to deliver this fridge had to come out here three times and the last time they came they did they did everything they were supposed to do but where are the handles to buy the handles for the fridge is like five hundred dollars where are my handles so we are currently waiting on the handles i'm not sure when they'll come i will update you guys when they get here let me show you my dining room i'm going to show you guys my dining room table let me just clean it off real quick all right, so I want to show you guys the dining room table. Now, like I said, well, okay, the dining room table is from Rooms to Go as well. In love with this table. In freaking love with this table, y'all. I saw it online, and, and I have the tags on it still, by the way, because we were unsure if we were going to keep the black chairs or if we should get the ones that have the gold legs, but. I think we're gonna go ahead and I think we're just gonna keep these but you guys I am in love with this table this table is like oh it's always a mess this table is like everything to me yeah all right I'm coming look at this I'm in love. I love this TV so much. Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful it is. And zebras are my favorite. But anyway, I just have to show you guys. I need to clean up now and then I'll come back. Oh yeah, so I forgot I didn't show you guys um, the furniture, the loft area real quick. It's a mess. I'm going to clean it, but I do want to show it to you. Okay. Let me flip you around. Okay, they got some deliveries. We got neighbors moving. Oh, so these are the chairs. And that's what I got to clean up, y'all. So I've got these chairs from the rest of the world. These chairs are not staying here, but they are here temporarily because they are going in front of my bed. Okay, the sectional. We got from rooms to go in love with it super comfortable um the material on it feels like it's really good quality i have no complaints from rooms to go right now yeah they got us all the way right so i'm, I'm happy about that yeah this is the old tv this is going to be going in our room i can actually move that there now and i think i might do that i'm just going to clean up real quick and i'll be back Making a change today, the liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kinda like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you and only you. Yeah, I got one virtual, got one in that day, the only two. Man, how many times have I shown and proved, man? How many nights I've been woke, swerving the potholes. Not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road, okay? Funny how life goes. He thought he was sick, now we wiping his nose, okay? Soon as you give him your soul, you blow up and they say you're selling your soul, okay? downstairs as well 
I think downstairs might need more than just one more panel. Yeah. So. And again, the loft area is not finished. This is just the beginning. But so far, y'all, it's so nice and cozy in here. This window will have shutters as well. Guys, so the console table is also from Room Studio. It is called their fireplace console table, which was really confusing because there's no fireplace. Not that I wanted one in here, but why y'all calling the fireplace console? There's no fireplace in here. Like, explain yourselves. But yeah. We actually saw it in the um, Scratch and Dent section of Rooms to Go, but it was like real messed up in the front and all that. So we just opted to buy the new one instead. But that's the thing with Scratch and Dent. Sometimes you find really good items that are not so beat up that just may have like a little scratch on it somewhere and then there's sometimes where it's just so bad. But if you really like the item, sometimes they have the option to order the new one for you. So that's what we did with this one. I love the color of it. And if you guys can see the nicks on the wall and the marks, don't mind them because I do plan on um, going over those with some touch up paint. And for this cord right here, it's not the worst looking cord. Let me bring you guys in closer. It's not the worst looking cord, but I do plan on getting the kit. Oh my gosh, I need to do something myself. I do plan on getting the kit to conceal that, but it's not horrible. You know, it's not horrible. I love it so much. It's not horrible, but um, yeah, so the console table, you do have the option to put a fireplace insert in there. I think that's why they call it that. So far, I'm loving this, loving everything about it. Okay, you guys, so I forgot that I didn't show you my coffee table for up here. This is also from Rooms to Go. Now, it seems like it can't fit. Now, the problem with this area is we purchased the the um, sectional and we didn't realize that it was going to, don't mind my coffee on the floor. <laughs> we didn't realize that was going to be so long. So it actually like went past our entrance. So we kind of had to like move some things around and now this ottoman is it's kind of doesn't have a place to go as yet so right now we're thinking about we're just going to leave it there for right now it looks a little tight i was also thinking about moving it over here yeah so that's the dilemma right now but this coffee table i am in love with this we always need storage space we can never have enough storage we can never have too much storage space in this house. We have tons of things. It's a, we have a big family. So basically, okay. So basically these, look at this. My daughter's piece of a coloring book. Okay. These pull out, they're best extra seating and you can open them up and there's storage space inside. So we also like to have, you know, play games and everything. So that's where we're going to store some of our games. Our gaming consoles will go in here. I like the fact that they have drawers in here as well because we can kind of, you know, hide anything that we need to hide in these drawers. That's the stuff that came with it. Yeah. So I am happy with it. This is the um, the one connect box for the TV. Any type of cords, USB cables, any type of attachments for the TV do not go directly into the TV. They go into the box so that there's not a lot of cords hanging from the TV. I know I'm kind of all over the place, but it was right there. So I wanted to point it out to you guys. Basically, I hate cords. I don't want to see cords hanging from TVs. Like I feel like it takes away from the beauty of the area. It also takes away the beauty of the television as well. Now, I will add some pieces to the top of this console table. I'm not sure. Oh, can I just have it junk free for a minute? I'm not sure what I'll add yet, but I do plan on adding something here. We are also adding the Philips Hue lights to the area. We love our family time. We love movie night and everything. So we just want to take our movie night to the next level, <laughs> pretty much. So in order for us to do that, we want to add lights. And I will 
of course keep you guys updated as we add those we will have geek squad come and put those in for us to make sure that they're all connected correctly and they show us exactly how to use it <sighs> now i'm done and my battery is dying so i have to switch cameras right now because i think this is my last battery for this camera and i'll be back so the electrician just left he fixed everything we needed him to fix let me show you the outlet first let me turn this around yeah so this is what he did he did there are some scuff marks around it that i'll i might touch up my husband said he's gonna putty this and paint it the color of the walls um I don't know if you guys remember, but in the last video, I did like I did mention that we will be repainting the entire house. So I don't know if I'm even going to bother with that. Um, they are scuff marks, but the TV will be here on Tuesday and you won't even be able to see it. He also fixed our cameras on the outside for us. And he also fixed. Oh, I didn't show you guys the patio. Uh, we have an enclosed back porch. I think that's what you call it. Let me show you again. Everything is from Rooms to Go. Rooms to Go did not disappoint. If there is one nearby, don't sleep on them. Don't sleep on them, y'all. Go ahead and give them a try. See if you like any of their pieces. I am 100% satisfied with it. Turn this around so you guys can see. So this is the patio furniture I got from Rooms to Go, and I am so in love, you guys. I was not expecting them to have such beautiful patio furniture. Everything that I've gotten, I am so in love with them. The pieces are well made, quality is A1, um, and again the price wasn't bad. So I'm just showing you guys real quick, but what he helped us with, we did have a, um, a fan installed, it is remote controlled operated. Um, he was reasonably priced, if you guys are in the Raleigh Durham area i will leave his information down below tell please tell him that i sent you um he was amazing sweet and quick came in and out but anyway i did not get into my little one's room today i don't know why but that room has just been like on my to-do list for the longest and i haven't gotten to it so but i will i think i need my husband's help because i do also have to hang wallpaper in there but i gotta cook so later on after we're settled and the girls are home i'm gonna do my hair i just haven't done my hair in a long time and i'm in need of my hair done so anyway you guys are like keeping me company i love this i don't i'm here by myself during the day and i'm used to having my kids around summer break just ended so it kind of takes some time for me to adjust not having them around because I am a parent that loves to have my children around. I like to have them home. They keep me company. We hang out together. So I'm still adjusting to that. But anyway, I got to season my chicken and so I can bake it later. I'm trying to put you guys in the right spot. Okay, so yeah, let me just get started on that. All right, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm using today. So got my black pepper, my Walker's wood jerk seasoning. If you're using, if you're not using Walker's wood, I'm not sure what, what you're doing because to me, Walker's wood is the best. I have been using it forever. Anyway, um, lemons, cause I gotta clean my chicken. What did you doing if you're not cleaning your chicken? But anyway, then I got some Lari's. I like to get the low sodium one, but they didn't have it because sometimes lawyers can be a little salty and then I have garlic sauce. So I'm not going to use a lot of that. I'm just going to mix them together, use those. And I like to use mild and hot jerk season because there's something about the hot, like there's like extra seasoning to me in the hot. And yeah, to me, it's definitely necessary to use both. But anyway, let me back you guys up a little bit. Won't you guys? Okay, okay, I think that's good. Even though you can't really see my face. Okay, let me hurry up because I will have to get them soon. You guys, like, I wanted to get into my daughter's room today and kind of, and just start on her stuff, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. So, 
I just need to I might have to do it this weekend I need my husband's help like it's just so much other stuff like my closet is a mess I'm still trying to figure out my closet now in the closets I think I did mention that too like we all we're all getting the Ikea pack system because it just makes sense I I think I've mentioned this on my channel before as well I'm not a fan of dressers I don't like dressers in the room. I feel like it takes up space you can use to put maybe something decorative or just have some extra space in your room. I don't like that big piece of furniture at all in the rooms. I did get this chicken from Costco. We do a lot of our shopping at Costco because we got a big family. Okay. Y'all, this is why I have to stay with so many gloves because I'm constantly switching my gloves out too. I do not play. All right, I'm gonna squeeze this lemon on it. I do not measure. I just pour. Oh, if I can open it based off of how much chicken I have in here. Pour. Move them around a little bit. put this on the grill later honestly and I'll show you guys how I do that because we're not big grillers we don't really know how to cook on the grill we're still learning but I made some chicken thighs on the grill the other day but I did it a different way and I think I might do this the same all right so I think that's enough season I'm gonna put some garlic salt on it Let this sit until later on this evening and then put it on the grill. Now with the jerk, I just, like like anything else, I just pour until it looks like I have enough. Now for those of you who don't mind the heat, I would say the hot one is the way to go all the way. But, oh shit. My girls can take the heat. They've been eating it since birth, so. We don't have a problem with the spicy stuff over here, but I have noticed as I get older, I can't eat as much spice as I used to. The hot stuff just messes with me. I can't take it. I still be trying though, but. I'd rather just have it mild at this point. 
my camera does not fall into the day look can you guys see there we go yep so that's it all seasoned all mixed up just like to toss it around and make sure each piece has enough seasoning on it like look at this there's ain't no seasoning on it so yep so that is it yeah I don't even think I need to pour any more drink on here yep and I can still smell the lemon which is exactly what I want okay so I think that should be it yep so I'm gonna cover everything over put everything away I don't have any more saran wrap so I'm probably just gonna cover this with some um, foil for right now mixture of onions and garlic for my rice I'm gonna make some yellow rice usually I do like sweet peppers and stuff in it but I'm not doing all that to me it doesn't make much of a difference if you put sweet peppers in that just extra layer of flavors of the sweet peppers but um it's not a huge difference so yeah I'm just gonna chop them up in the Cuisinart well the food processor and I'll show you what I do next guys closer all right, so let me show you guys this real quick. Do you see this? Can you guys see this? These things are plastic, and I am not too pleased with the quality of this, so we plan on upgrading this at some point. It is a GE appliance, and my daughter was cooking the other day, and this started melting, I guess because the pan was too big that she put on this side and the heat from it burnt the knobs. So they're sending us new knobs because we still are still in the warranty, of course. But, I mean, hold on, let me show you guys. Hold on, just hold on a second. I'm gonna show you guys, because I don't know if this happened to anybody else, but like, let me see, let me turn on the light. Oh, not only that. You see that? Where is the, Ugh, one light. It's only one bulb working, so they're sending us a replacement for that as well, but we've only been here like a month. But look, can you see the scratches on it? And I've been keeping it clean, but look, not only that, it's rubbing off, the paint is rubbing off right here. So yeah, me and my husband already made up our minds that um, this is just for now, and we do plan on upgrading it at some point. All right, you guys, so I'm just gonna put some extra virgin olive oil in the pan probably about two tablespoons of it not much throw that all around I'm gonna take some of the mixture put it in the pan should have had my tripod here but kind of in a rush and I don't feel like going to get it but I will show you guys what it looks like in a minute now, I'm not going to use all of this mixture. I'm just going to save it for like another recipe maybe. Because, well, you guys can kind of see it, right? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to save it for another recipe because I don't need too much for this. So basically, I'm just sauteing the onions and the garlic. What I like to do is I will season my onions and my garlic. Because for me, it's all about 
layering the seasoning. So just a little bit of seasoned salt. I'm gonna mix that up some more. I'm gonna show you guys closer what it looks like. I'm gonna turn the fire down first. Okay. Okay. Yep, so what it looks like. Let those for a little bit. And then I'm gonna put some um I'm going to show you guys in a minute how I get it to look yellow. Yeah. I'm going to put some allspice in it. I got this from our international market that's here. I'm going to put about mm, probably four of them in there. What else am I going to put? I'm going to put some black pepper in there. That should be enough. So, all right, don't laugh at my little container. I have had this container, you guys, for 17 years. <laughs> Yo, I swear, I need, I don't throw stuff away. Let me tell you, so my sister-in-law gave this to me, and just like I told you in the last video, when people give me stuff, I just hold on to it. I cherish it, because I appreciate them taking the time out to actually give me something. So shout out to you, TT, for giving this to me. But, um, it honestly was not for this. I'm putting some bay leaves in there. Just a few leaves, probably like three or four. I'm probably gonna put another one. But um, she gave this to me for my daughter's hair stuff when my daughter was, I don't even think my daughter was one yet. Um, and I've had it ever since. I washed it out and now I put all my like curry and, and garam masala in here and all the big packs of seasoning on there. But anyway. Quick backstory on that. All right, so now I feel like it's cooked down enough. Let me turn this fire down some more. Let me show you guys what it's looking like. I feel like it's cooked down enough now. I'm blocking the light. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the, um, it's called Bajal. And this right here, y'all, this is all you need to make the rice yellow. I'm just gonna sprinkle some in there. I'm gonna show you guys real quick how much I put in. Don't put too much, cause your rice will look crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna say maybe, I put maybe like a tablespoon to two tablespoons. Maybe, maybe a tablespoon. I wouldn't say two tablespoons, that's kind of crazy. Let me show you guys what it looks like before I stir it up. This is what it looks like. What you should use for this part is, you should use chicken broth. I do not have any chicken broth, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use some water. Chicken broth to my shopping list. I added chicken broth to your shopping list. Okay. I think I'm gonna make like two cups of rice. I can't wait to get my pantry organized. Yep, so two full cups of rice. Should be good. And then we're gonna wash our rice. Okay guys, so I washed my rice a few times. This is what it looks like in here. So I'm gonna put it in here. Plug this bad boy in. So it can start warming up. Let me show you what this looks like. It does not look like much, you guys, but that's what is needed. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off now. And it goes right into the rice cooker with the rice. Okay, I'm gonna stir it up. Turn it on white rice. Let me show you guys what it looks like while it's in there. That is what it's looking like. Can you guys see it? Yep. 
that is it and that is gonna cook down you don't need to add anything else to it so i have to run out and go get my girls i will see you guys i will see you guys when i get back all right you guys so we just got back let me put on this light and i'm gonna show you what the rice is looking like in the rice cooker Okay, hold on. Okay, so there it is. It's pretty much done, y'all. I swear, like, it only takes, like, ooh, sorry, y'all. It only takes, like, 15 minutes. Like, I left to go get the girls, came back, and it's pretty much done already. Yep, so, I'm just gonna, Finish this up. I have to go get my little one, and when I come back, I'm probably gonna put the chicken on the grill after that, and then I'll show you how I do that. So I'll be back. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna get the chicken ready for it to go on the grill, and I'm gonna show you how I do that. All right, can y'all see what I'm doing? Dang, I am the worst. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, perfect. All right. So basically, mm -hmm. I cut too close, y'all. Do not play with raw chicken. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour all of this in here. Mm. Did y'all see that? Oh my god. So it's walk normally, so. No, my um, that is buckling. Oh, <laughs> the trash is not. Why do I keep going for the trash over there? Oh, oh my gosh. Do you need more um, pellets in there? More chips in there? Yeah, it's not going to not about to play with you, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to figure out who I need to bark at. Like, who am I going to bite? Who am I going to bite? All right, All right well, let's go. Look how you looking. Like, can I piss already? You want apples? You got apples. I don't even know how you got to like apples. over there <laughs> all right y'all y'all know i gotta clean up now okay so i just put the chicken on the grill i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on the grill i literally just take the whole pan and put it in the grill still gets the smoky flavor from actually being in the grill without us burning it up so for now, that's what we're gonna do. Comes out perfectly fine, and it cooks faster. Oh, Y'all see this? I got some. I got some of the chicken stuff on here. I gotta clean it off. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so this is my seasonings. I put it in here. Um, usually, what I do is I'll get like a lot of my seasonings, like onion garlic peppers um cilantro culantro and i um will puree them and put them in a mason jar so that when i'm ready to cook i already have my seasonings already pre-made um i haven't done that in a while i do need to go ahead and do it because it will save me a lot of time i won't have to actually chop seasonings every time i need to cook something i will do that soon I'll let you guys see what I put in there. I also just made my homemade pepper sauce. Let me show you guys. Oh, yeah. I made my homemade pepper sauce. Look at this, y'all. Look at that goodness, y'all. When I tell y'all this is good, I mean, I might make it on here one day. We'll see. I'm not sure. But anyway. Yeah, so that's it. Let me show you guys what the chicken looks like out there. 
All right, you guys, so I don't know what's wrong with the grill, but we had to take the food off the grill, so I'm just gonna put it in the oven in here. I'm just gonna preheat the oven if I know how to do it. Okay. Uh, bake, and I'm gonna put it to, I'm gonna put it to 400. Hit start, and it's gonna start preheating. Yes, I'm gonna put it to 400 to finish it off. Let me let you, let me show you what it's looking like. What is it saying? Bake preheating. Anyway, this is what it's looking like so far. So it did kind of heat it up a little bit and it looks like it, at some point it was cooking it, but it just, it just stopped. It just got cool all of a sudden. It stopped, like the fire went out. I don't know what happened. But I'm just gonna put some barbecue sauce on it now. I'm so tired, you guys. I just wanna lay down, so I'm trying to hurry up and do this and lay down. Okay. Of course I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's for the barbecue sauce. What else would I be using? I'm so tired. I feel like I've just been going all day. I'm exhausted. Oh, this did make a mess. It did make a mess right here. I don't even know how that happened. I saw that. Okay. So I'm gonna baste it. And FedEx still did not bring my stuff yet. I'm so aggravated right now. Okay. All right, this is what it's looking like. So I'm just gonna baste it. I don't like to put too much barbecue sauce on it because it's not barbecue chicken, it's jerk chicken with a little bit of barbecue sauce on it. So this is all it needs. Just gonna brush it on. And I do not like, well you know what? I'm about to use this as gravy real quick before I put it in the oven. I'm gonna take some of this juice out of the pan and use it as gravy so we can have some gravy with our rice okay that is what it's looking like Put it in the sink all right let me show you guys how i make gravy all right so i'm just gonna pour some of the juice in this pan oh it's a lot i'm gonna pour a lot of it in here actually All right. Okay. Let me show you what we got in here. So all of this is gonna be for the gravy. I'm just gonna thicken that up a little bit. Of course, I'm using a little cornstarch. That is just to thicken up the gravy. All right, so I'm just gonna put a tablespoon of this in there. Tablespoon. Okay. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in here. Okay, so I'm gonna mix it up. Get rid of all the little lumps at the bottom there. I'm gonna pour it in and I'm gonna stir as I'm pouring, pouring it in because I don't want any lumps in here. Oh my God. I would make a mess. Okay. All right, so I'm 
the gravy is boiling right now so I'm just gonna let it boil for a little bit and then that's pretty much it I'm so tired y'all I'm so tired I just wanna lay down just wanna lay down y'all so exhausted I feel like I did so much today and I didn't even touch my daughter's room and that's what I was supposed to do so I'm gonna try again tomorrow if I can just leave like just say okay that's what I'm gonna do today and not do anything else I feel like I can get it done but if I have all these other things going on at the same time it's looking like it doesn't need to boil for a long time I would just bring it to a boil like this that's what I do I don't know if anybody else does it differently I'm not an expert here, but I know when it comes to cooking, what to do to get my food to taste and look the way I want it to look. Anyway, let me show you guys what the gravy is looking like. All right, so that is pretty much it. It's got some thickness to it. I don't like my gravy too thick. I think this is perfect. Y'all, it's good. It's good. Chicken is in the oven. I'm about to turn this off, y'all. I'm about to get me a Let me get a drink. Cause I've had enough today. All right, you guys, so the chicken just came out of the oven and it looks so good, y'all. I'm about to grab. Uh, let me plate this real quick and let you guys see what it looks like. This is it, y'all. And I'm about to grab, okay? I'm about to grab, I'm about to grab. So tired, y'all, and I still have to take the girls to a football game. So aggravated. It's like nonstop. Mm. That's perfect. I don't really like the rice. I think it's just the type of rice that I want. This is my second time making it over here, but mm. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. So I had to come back on here. Even though I ended the video, I had to come back on here because look what arrived. Look what decided to come. So anyway, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing so I can show you guys, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited I've waited long enough. So here's the box. So I don't even know why it's in this big old box, honestly. But um, I'm glad it's protected. I haven't had anything come to my house broken yet. Out of all the stuff that I've been ordering, nothing. I mean, I haven't really been ordering anything that fragile anyway. Um, okay. So it's got the bubble wrap. Oh, it's well packaged. It's definitely better packaged than the one that came yesterday. That was a mess. Anyway. All right. Oh, it stinks. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. So remember in the last video, I showed y'all my baskets for the mudroom. Do not buy those baskets. I had to return them. They were so stink. They smell like a damn Ringling Brothers circus. That's what it smelled like. And they had to go back. So read the reviews because there, there there are another set of baskets on there that i'm about to order they're not from the same seller and the reviews are better and the crazy thing is i always read reviews but i guess i didn't look at the bad ones when you're looking at reviews make sure you go look at them bad ones to see what they talk about Oof, this box stinks can y'all see okay All these deliveries we've been getting. The boxes in our garage. It's insane. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. It is so nice. Okay. Ooh. 
don't want to break it. It's so nice. It's so heavy. Let me show you guys the other ones I got. I got this one. And I got this, y'all. So I'm going to stage it up over here and I'm going to come back and show you what it's looking like. Okay, y'all. So this is what it's looking like. I'm not really feeling it. I kind of feel like it's missing something from over here. So they do have a larger one. And I am thinking about maybe getting the larger one to kind of go in the back to kind of center everything. Um, I'm not sure yet. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if I can maybe position it in a different way. Let me see. What do you think about that? You know what, hold on. Maybe I can use the one, cause I do have a larger one. I mean, I don't have to get all of them from Crate and Barrel. Let me see if I can use the larger one. How's that? we're getting there I think I think it's gonna take some moving around and but I'll tell you what once I get it yeah I think I gotta get that other one from from Clayton Brown let me see if I can show you guys what it looks like see the black one in the back I feel like that's perfect okay you guys I just want to come on here and show you guys that show you guys this the stuff that I got from Crate and Barrel. I'm really gone this time. All right, see you soon.